All right. So the first thing we do is we text, we text, we check for voltages here, here on the rectifier actually. Make sure there's no voltage present before you do anything. We're gonna mod this amplifier. I don't know how long I'm gonna do this for. Some of the tools we'll need is some glass. I have these cutters for glass. They're really cool. Some long needle nose craftsman's solder sucker. A lot of people are gonna freak the hell out. I'm kind of freaking out because I don't like to take something that works apart. I got a stick. I hate taking things that work apart, but it doesn't work as it, I need it to work. So what we're gonna do is just unsolder components right now. I don't really care where these wires come from because I'm gonna be redoing the whole amp. This doesn't wanna come off, all right. Let's get them out of the way. It's kinda of stressful, to be honest with you. We'll do the tube sockets later. I'm just getting these these shielded wires out of the way right now. And yeah, so anytime you're doing something like this, it can be quite stressful. It is kind of stressful to me. But to be honest with you, my intentions are good, guys. They're not to destroy this amplifier in any way, shape, or form. do a whole series of how to rebuild a twin reverb in 1972 the YDNA amplification way this does not want to come out it's stressful It's gonna be challenging to improve on a circuit that's already kind of cool. See, a lot of you guys think that, I don't think that it's cool or I think there's something wrong with the circuit. There is stuff wrong with the circuit, but still not a bad, bad amp compared to, you know, newer amps.
And I also want to clean this chassis up too once I get everything removed. Once I get everything removed, I'll clean the chassis up so it's, it's a lot of dirt, dust, crap. This is a major overhaul. It's like taking a uh, Chevy Camaro with a six cylinder and installing a V8 in it, kind of. That's what I'm doing. I'm not ruining the amp. I don't, I will check all these values of these carbon comps. If they've drifted, I'll replace them. If not, then I'll probably put them back. We'll see. When we when we reach that that part in the in the world. And the build. Some of these solder connections are pretty good. shit coming out of this 1M resistor right there. Could be just flux, but it looked like it's coming out the back side of it. And I don't know. Now this with the ground here, I'm just going to snip right now because I am not I am not going to be reusing these ground ports at all. All these wires are getting removed. I'll put brand new wires in. It's, you know, standard PVC wire anyway. So it is solid core wire. It's good wire. I'm not gonna throw it away. I'll put it to the side. I'll probably throw it away. I don't need it. Da, 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 da. I have no music because I don't have my other phone. Actually, I do have another phone. But every time I put music on, I get blocked. I'm not allowed to play music while I take videos. And that kind of sucks because I enjoy music while I play or build soothing to me like some 80s disco music or whatever pop alright Two waters, one waters. You don't see any. Oh, I got a staple in my chair. You don't see any half watts or quarter watts though in, in these amps as you would new amplifiers. So a lot of you guys that want to bitch about saying I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, like egg meter amps or soldanos or maybe not soldano so much, but a lot of fenders and marshals and voxes, they use one quarter watts and half watts. There's no need. So if we have a, you know, you have a, a grid resistor that's only a one watt, but the grid resistors burn out sometimes, why would you put a quarter watt or a half watt in there? I never would. Ever. Some of these connections have a lot going on here. This looks like a one, two, three, four, five, a five connection deal
And I do, when I'm done, I'm gonna test the con. I wanna test the conductive fucking bird, man. Shut up. I'll get the broom. I'll get the broom, you fuckers. Every time I make a video. The birds are insane. They know exactly what's going on. Hey, Dylan, give the birds something. A piece of cheese. Merle likes cheese. Give him a give him to quiet up for a little while. Why is our corn so problematic? What do you mean? It's supposed to be ready to harvest. It is. No, it's not. Sure it is. It's fucking white, dude. It's supposed to be white. Silver corn, Dylan. Oh. <laughs> I guess I'll go grab some. You should. Silver. Yeah, because I was out there. I was like, yo, these hairs are telling me they're done. Then I split one open. I was like, fuck, oh, they're still whiter than Oh, it's me. delicious, man. Fucking shut up! Get the broom, dude. I told you to give him some shit. Get the I'm fucking working on it. dude. You're impatient bastard, you're just as bad as them. No, every time I get a video, man, they start screaming and it hurts, dude. Yes, Polly does want to crack her. They know exactly what's going on. They ain't stupid. They are stupid. No, because they don't do it until I start getting a fucking video camera. There, there. Yeah, hear them? Mmm. <laughs> Little assholes. One of them sounds like my voltmeter and the fucking alarm. Yeah, they mimic certain sounds that Merley. we don't like. Yeah. High pitch fucking sounds. Yeah. Like, Thank God. Oh, wait until the winter again when he starts mimicking the stove again. What stove? This. Oh, that squeak? <laughs> it is a dick. Yeah, it's this one that he mimics. If I do that a few times, I think he just did it. Some of these connections are brutal. I'm trying. I'm crying. Aha. Uh -huh. Clump. You're going to put that back where you found it? <laughs> I can only hear my dad saying that shit, dude. Maybe that's why I fucking like doing what I do. You're going to put that back where you found it? If you take a tool, I'll put it exactly where it goes. Man. This one's a little rough. There's no angle to get under the shield. There we go. Again, I'm taking everything off anyway, so it doesn't matter. I'm just trying to get stuff situated. So this is gonna be a long, long, long series of videos. Cause I'm I'm not editing nothing. I'm just gonna do 
exactly what I do in real time. Because there's some people out there that complain about how long it takes to do stuff. And I want them to see the, the, the actual physical properties of how long it takes to do things. And in the end, I can just add up all that time spent on the amp and calculate labor charges, how much it actually costs. You fuck. Dude, that's it. Had enough. See this fucking broom? Why? You gotta stretch your fucking wings. Stop it. I'll smack your ass. You're lucky you're a bird. I don't dare to smack you. His beak is like 700 inches long. Giant bird. Uh, anyway, I forgot what I was talking about. These wires just keep getting in my way. <sighs> so this amp, I'll show you right here. It says 19, January 17th, 1972. Made by J. Castillo. Castillo. C-A-S-T-I-L-L-O. Got quite a bit of... 0.1 UF caps in here. I see four of them. I don't know if I like that idea neither. Pretty bassy caps. They're good in some spots. I mean, I got to look at the circuit. I haven't really broke down the circuit too much. So what I was saying is, I posted not too long ago. I Sometimes I get stressed out and when I post stuff, I'm kind of proud of what I've accomplished. And I don't post exactly the right definition of what I mean. I think I posted not too long ago, I did, I wired an amplifier up and uh, I said I had like 40 or 50 hours on it. But I didn't mean it, I meant I had like 40 or 50 hours total time of uh, the circuit, like the, the amplifier. Like I have to bend the chassis, I have to cut the chassis, I have to grind the chassis, I have to paint the chassis, I have to cut all the holes in the chassis, um, install all the components. You know, so by the time I'm done doing that and then doing all the wiring, I had like 50 hours. Some dude said, what do you wire one wire an hour? For one, there was like 154 connections that, that I did. So if you did one connection a minute, which it's gonna take you a lot longer than one minute to do a connection, because I bend the wires in a, in a very, very, very precise way, probably takes anywhere between three to five minutes per wire, depending on the wire. That's to get the wire, put it in, bend it in the, the right way and then wrap it around the turrets. See, just jabbing it in the eyelets is easy, but wrapping it around a turret, that's another thing I don't like about eyelets. When you just jab it in there, there's really nothing holding it but the solder. When you have a turret and you wrap the wire around the turret, it actually creates a connection and the solder just holds your connection. It's, it's way, way better that way. You don't have, your chances of cold solder joints are a lot less too as well. But they were complaining about how long it took me to wire a perfect circuit. Which I disagree, man. I mean, the it's 
it's kind of bullshit you know, if you think about it so what i will do is i'll i'll do this and uh when i'm done see that's what i was talking about let me let me just i'll unsolder this wire real fast i'm not gonna unsolder it i'm gonna show you what, what i was talking about here why one of the reasons I think that the wiring situation is bad. If you look, this wire right here is a plate wire. No doubt, plate wire, because it goes to pin number one here, all right? But it's crossing over, see this wire? It's crossing over this wire. So if we look at this wire, this wire right here actually is a output transformer, so that's not good. But if we got rid of that, it's still crossing over this wire here and this wire. This wire is a cathode. They have the grid by itself, which is a good thing. You know, but if you look over here, it's the plate. This is the grid, which was crossed over the plate, which is always a bad thing in the cathode too. They just throw all these wires cross over each other and I cannot stand, there's no need for that. at all in this world. We can we can avoid that principle by re redesigning the layout. Anyway, that was one of my, my pitches that I had going on with, with how Fender did things. We're gonna address that. We're actually gonna fix that. Hey, is that a street sweeper, Dylan? Look out there, what are they doing? Are they mowing or street sweeping? Hurry. Uh, why? Because I wanna know, dude. Are you, what are you, God damn it, get the broom and raise it. Squawk at him like you're the, the boss. Put it over your head. <laughs> that was probably fucking worse than fucking what they're doing. I didn't mean it like that. Where are you going? Where are you going? No, you, you, you know what? What are you going to do? You're going to go get drugs? I'm going to get rid of drugs. Yeah, right. For better drugs so you can get fucked up? No. For lose best. your job again? Lose, what job can I lose? Man. Kids this day and age, man. You can't stop them. Well, I can call the cops on them and stop them. Who would want to call the cops on their own family member? No, my boy, the cops ain't stopping shit. No, but you should have more respect in life. Of fact, I think the cops would laugh at you if you called them on me. Yeah, I'm sure they would. Pull wouldn't. me over and be like, "Damn, a misdemeanor." What you're doing is probably a felony. For one, and also, if it's drugs that can hurt somebody, you're a scumbag for doing that which I don't know and I don't want to know. Keep me out of your fucking business. So I'd have to kick your fucking ass. Anyhow, he's not a kid, he's an adult. He makes his own choices. We all make choices in life, good nor bad. He likes to trade his weed for other weed because he doesn't like weed he likes dabs and dabs as you know weed is legal in new york now and weed is legal to gift it that fucking bird man i swear to god dude it's starting to drive me a little fucking nuts
Anybody have a garage they want to rent? I would love to work out of a garage. I don't care what state it is. Well, I do. I don't want no hot state. I've been building amplifiers in this house for 15, I don't know, 10, 10 years. I shouldn't have people walking back and forth constantly in my work zone. You know, it's it's kind of fucked up because this kid right here that's going back and forth, I call him a kid, but he's an adult. He lives in his bedroom playing Call of Duty, but as soon as I get a camera, he comes down and just bothers the fuck out of me. Every fucking time. It's like, it's like they have these sonars. Fuck with dad time. Fuck with your video time. Let dad say fucking stupid shit like, where are you going to sell drugs? If he would have just stayed in his room, like he always does, these conversations wouldn't take place in my brain. But anyway, what I was trying to say was, dabs are, are legal now, and so, aren't, so isn't marijuana, you know, edibles. A lot of people are starting to do dabs more and more frequently. And it's very, very potent, you know, so they'll take, the, the younger ones will take the weed and go down to their friend's house and trade the weed for dabs because they want to get rocked. Because weed don't rock them that way. Which back in the day, that'd be drug dealing. You know, just two years ago, it would have been drug dealing. So, yeah. You gotta watch them. You gotta go through the room and do like a prison, or like a prison cleansing thing, you know, to shake down, man. Make sure they don't have things they're not supposed to have. We're almost done with this part. What's going on, big boy? We'll be back in just a second. He don't dare to bring his buddies around my house because I'll kick the fucking snot piss out of all of them. And obviously, if he's going down the road, it's somebody I probably don't like. It's on my mind. Be having a talk with him about that shit off camera. You don't want to see the carnage that's about to go down. Millennials, man. Little, little pussy ass motherfuckers. Bunch of shit talking little bitches, dude, but can't not back up their words. But think that the world owes them something. I come from a place, man, in time where somebody bothered somebody. You dealt with that shit personally. All right, so here's another ground we're gonna snip off of the chassis. So I'm not using the chassis like that, neither. Um. Here's another one. I'm gonna leave that one there though, so for a reference. Pull that out of there. I don't think that would be sufficient. Let's see if I can find myself a screwdriver here. No, I already ordered all the, the new board that I'm going to use when I get this all, when I get to the point where, where I need to be, I'll check all these components for leakage. See, and this screw right here just come right through the bottom of that board. There's the board. Look at that. Nice. So... 
one board out of the way. You gotta find somewhere safe to put this. So I'll ruin it. 30 minutes. All right, it's part one. Now part two is gonna be some other stuff over here.